Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel and we got to talk about the situation over in Houston. It's the Dodgers and the Astros. Benches cleared. I thought benches weren't supposed to clear. What's going on? Coronavirus. What's going on? Oh, benches cleared. There wasn't a, a brawl or anything, but the benches did clear. And we're going to find out. We already know. I'm sure everybody watching has already seen it. Just going to give my quick take on it. Get your thoughts down in the comment section. Huge story right here during this coronavirus season. We're not supposed to have situations like this. Joe Kelly on the mound. Now, Joe Kelly was not with the Dodgers in 2017 when this whole Astros cheating thing went down with the camera and everything, and the Dodgers lost in the World Series to Houston. Joe Kelly was in Boston at that time, so just keep that in mind, just, just putting that out there. That's just a fact. Um, but here, here we go. Alex Bregman is at the plate. Now, it's a 3-0 count. He was trying to find the strike zone, couldn't find him, fell behind 3-0. So you might think, okay, right now he's like, you know what, screw it, it's 3-0. I'm going to go ahead and just bean this guy, put him on base, you know. Um, we're mad at the Astros anyway. Not just for that 2017 situation, which, I, like I said, Joe Kelly wasn't there. But remember, earlier in the offseason, Astros didn't have a whole lot of nice things to say when they were speaking of it, especially uh, Correa, who's not up just yet, but he's going to be coming up in a minute. Carlos Correa told uh, basically Cody Bellinger to go ahead and shut the F up if he doesn't know what he's talking about, um, something of the, along those lines. So that was not very polite, and I don't think the Dodgers probably took that uh, very well. So here with a 3-0 count, he said, you know what? Possibly he's thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put this guy on and boom, but look where that ball is thrown up and in Up and in Up and in Up and in That was an homage to the movie JFK which I'm not a huge fan of that movie, but anyway, moving on. Joe Kelly was all over the place. The announcers did not think that he threw at the batter in, batters intentionally, um, but you got to wonder with the 3-0 count, you know, that was a fastball up and in. You know, did he try to go up and in, or did he just try to go in and hit him, you know, at the side or down the buttocks area? We don't know, but we know where the ball ended up, up and in. Luckily, thankfully, he got the hell out the way. So he gets out the way, and Bregman's like, fuck, what the hell, man? Um, you can see some frustration in the body language, in the face. So, uh, yeah, look where that ball's thrown. That is scary. That is not where you want to throw the ball. And I, I'm pretty sure, I really hope, that Joe Kelly was not trying to go up and in. Now, maybe he was trying to hit him, but he wasn't trying to go up and in, I hope. If he was, that that's there's no place for that because, you know, you hit someone in the head, you can cause serious injury or death. So, no, 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 you do not go up and in, ever. You definitely don't go up and in, which is what he did here. So, so far... Oh, yeah, I mean, you can see he got out the way. Um, that's the walk. He is. Uh, <laughs> he knows he can't charge the mound. He knows he can't do anything like that this season. Um, so he's just like, okay, it is what it is, and uh, we play on. So a little bit later, Carlos Correa is coming to the play. Brantley gets on. So here's Correa. And boom, right again up and in. Now, this was a curveball. Uh, this was some kind of a breaking pitch. This wasn't a fastball, but still, again, look at where that ball goes. And we'll check it out here. Joe Kelly from the stretch and boom, oh my God, up and in. But again, you normally, I mean, you're not going to see a curveball or a breaking pitch thrown at a hitter intentionally. The only, only thing I can think of why you would do that is to throw people off and, and be able to have, you know, deniability and be able to say, oh man, obviously I had one thrown at him as a freaking curveball. That's the only reason. But even then, I, I just find it, I find it unlikely that a pitcher is going to throw a curveball at someone. You're going to throw someone, you throw them with the heat. You know, you bring it. So, uh, anyway, he threw this off-speed pitch. Um, and, you know, it moves runners. You know, this is a, a fairly close game. Dodgers are up by three, but you got two guys on. Tying run at the plate. Uh, I, I, I can't imagine you're trying to hit more guys. I, I do not believe that he threw that one at him intentionally. I think he's all over the place. I think his control is out of, is out of control. There is no control. Um, and I don't think he threw it at Correa. Now, as for Bregman... Maybe he was trying to hit him to put him on. Maybe not. I'm not really sure, but um, he definitely shouldn't go up and in. And uh, anyway, be be whatever. You know, I, I'm not going to tell you whether it was intentional or not. I know most people I, that I've talked to think it was. Um, either way, you know, a lot of people are praising Joe Kelly, saying good throw at those Houston batters. Um, I'm not. I'm not down for for injuring people, especially up and in. You do not throw up and in. You know what, you do you want them to die or be seriously hurt because they cheated and stole signs? I mean, I don't, so um, hey, maybe we can disagree to, uh, on that on that front, but uh, definitely not for what the Astros did in 2017 and nobody should be. Um, but having said that, 
No, I don't find a place in the game for trying to throw at people's heads. So I, I'm hoping that he just got away from him. Um, but whether it got away from him or not, whatever the situation is, he struck him out on this good breaking pitch here. And uh, that's when the action happens. Joe Kelly looking over there and uh, said something to uh, Correa or maybe Correa said something first. It's disputable. But Dusty Baker says that basically Joe Kelly said something along the lines of nice swing, bitch. You got to cheat to hit something like that. Um, and uh, then made this face after uh, Cor Correa said something back. Gave him a little sad face here. I, I missed it here. Let's go back and let's check out the little sad face here. And we oh, ha -ha! I can't get it, but you see it. Uh, we'll just watch it in regular speed here. There's the pitch again. It struck him out. He's walking off. Nice, nice swing, bitch. Um, gives him the face. Correa says something. Gives him the sad face there. And then the benches are going to clear. And uh, some more stuff is being said here. He's saying, okay, you struck me out, so what? He said, you struck me out, so what? A couple times. And then it uh, shows again here the pitch up and in to Bregman. The pitch up and in to Correa. All bad there. You can't be throwing like that. I mean, I, I, I'm hoping that it just got away from him. Uh, Correa clearly pissed off. Dusty Baker's got to be pissed off, dude. Not once, but twice. I mean, you got to feel... I know, I know the Astros are the enemy right now and they are the antagonist right now, but you got to think, you got to feel for Dusty Baker. He wasn't even there. Now, of course, I'm a huge Dusty Baker fan, a San Francisco Giants fan. Baker played for us, coached for us, managed for us. I love Dusty Baker, but I'm still, even if it wasn't, if it wasn't Dusty, you got to think, like, going through his mind, two of my guys just had balls thrown right at their heads. And we're the Astros. Everybody in their, and their mom is thinking about what are the Dodgers going to do when they face the Astros? They're going to throw at them. And then two balls from the Dodgers in the first matchup get thrown at the heads of the Astros. You got to be thinking if you're Dusty Baker, that's bull crap, man. So Dusty's going to go out and let it be known that it's bull crap. With his mask on, umpire with a mask on, it looks really weird, but that's where we're at. So Dusty here, and uh, I'm having trouble reading his lips because there's a giant mask on his face, but Dusty's letting him know, hey, man, this is bullcrap. This is that no coincidence. You don't throw twice at someone's head. I mean, very rarely do we see balls at a guy's head. It does happen, but twice in the same inning, and it happens to be the Dodgers against the Astros' first matchup, 2020, after the cheating thing all came to, to light. Yeah. Um, crazy. There's Will Smith. There's Jansen. Obviously, the Dodgers get the win here. Uh, that's not good for Giants, but, uh, you know, good, good for the Dodgers uh, getting the win there. But, um, yeah, all in all, all said here, guys, just wanted to give my thoughts because people were asking me if I saw it. Now I've seen it. I've checked it out in detail. And, um, you know, it, it's hard to take sides because it might have been an accident, you know, and if it was an accident... Okay, but why did he say, did he say something first? Also, who said something? It looked like Joe Kelly said something first. Said, nice swing, bitch. You got to cheat or something like that. If that's the case, then, uh, you know, why say anything? Just go back to Doug, man. Play ball. I'm all about baseball. You guys know that. I'm all about baseball. Uh, what the Astros did was messed up, but they've been punished, and, and it's over. And, uh, you know, I'm the type of person, let's move on, man. Let's move on. Let's let's go. Let's play ball here. Maybe it sounds like I'm on the, uh, uh, the Astros side, and you're probably like, that's because you're a Giants fan, and you, you hate the Dodgers. Uh, that's not the case. Um, I'm, I'm saying right here that maybe it wasn't intentional. Um, it's, it's hard to tell because the second pitch was a breaking ball. The first one up and in, and if that was intentional, I think it's messed up. I don't care if it's Dodgers or anyone else. You don't throw up and in. And I'd say the same thing if it was the Giants throwing at the Astros. You don't throw up and in. Um, so hopefully that was an accident. And that's where I'm at with it, you know. I think we should just move on and get back to baseball. We got enough crazy stuff going on. You're not supposed to be on the field anyway with the other team. Not supposed to be of clearing benches. This stuff ain't supposed to happen. Is there going to be any punishment? Probably not because nobody got hit. Nobody got hit, but definitely I think MLB should say something. Say, hey, you know, again, we're going to reiterate that we're not going to have bench clearing situations that's what this will not happen and you know if if it does happen we are we can punish teams just let it be known whether someone's hit or not we can punish teams going forward and um dodgers with the win 5-2 congratulations to the dodgers i'm not trying to it's nothing to do with me being a giants fan um if you're a dodgers fan i know you guys support the channel i really do appreciate you guys the support gonna be giving away a jackie robinson jersey when i hit 4200 subscribers so look forward to that and uh, you guys have a fantastic team i uh, just think that right now it's probably not the time to be throwing at guys' heads. Actually, it's never the time to throw at guys' heads. It's probably not the time to throw at guys, period, right now, because we don't want any bench-clearing situations. We don't want any coronavirus going around. You know, not that you know, it should be happening, should be clean, but you get my drift. So, guys, have a fantastic day. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. Look for some live streams coming on tonight. Just want to shout out to all the patrons, all the members, and everyone who sent me a super chat on the live streams, and everyone else who's watched, thumbs up. You guys, you're helping grow Hum Baby Baseball. That means the world. Have a great one. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History
Mysteries in the making at Oracle Park.